Hey guys, I'm back again with another DVD and video game update for you. Went to a great flea market, I found some really really good stuff, I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, and I went to a, lo a couple of uh, local Goodwill stores as well at uh, this time. Um, and I yeah, also found some, some awesome and great stuff. So yeah, let's just start, I'll show you guys what I got. I uh, got a couple of war movies, uh, old war movies. This one is Top Rock, the Desert, the Desert War. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, just look at that. Just love these covers. I love these movies actually. Just uh, war movies from the 70s and 60s. Um, this was another blind buy. If I find this kind of stuff uh, out in the wild and it's cheap, I always just buy them. Just love these movies you don't see them a lot in the wild because um, they're kind of sought after a lot of collectors of this kind of stuff um, same goes for like horror and the western movies uh, those are the big things that uh, people still collect uh, for dvds so it's always good to find uh, some of that stuff have this one as well Anjo. Uh, i've been wanting to have this for uh, quite a while but never found it uh, for a good price so yeah i was glad i did right now um yeah another second world war movie an older one just love these i uh, got another one here uh, this is more newer movie uh, saints and soldiers yeah just looks really great i just find it a very interesting subject as well especially the second world war um so many uh, crazy and heavy things uh, went on that time and uh, for some reason I always learn something new which actually brings me to the this movie The Falscher yeah I actually watched this movie last night um, it's a really really great uh, movie um, yeah it's just uh, a, a true story of Second World War um, of a guy who counterfeited money um, he did this, uh, he was actually a Jewish guy um, in a concentration ca camp and um, he did this for the for the Nazis so they um, made false money of like the pound um, and the dollar um, so yeah it was a really really great movie and definitely recommend this one a uh, very intense and heavy story um, and from what I've read, it's very accurate to uh, what actually happened. So yeah, definitely uh, look out for that one. Yeah, uh, got this. Yeah, sold on Precinct 13. From the mighty John Carpenter. Actually, I haven't seen this movie yet. I'm ashamed to say. Um, was looking for this actually for quite a while as well. Uh, never. Uh, even knew there was a Dutch release of this, um, so yeah, glad to find this in the wild as well. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to watch it. Just love John Carpenter. I mean, you know the thing, Halloween. These are these are just classics. I love uh, yeah, also this stuff that just isn't horror, um, like Big Trouble and Little China and all that. Just great, great films. I got these two, yeah, Control and 315 from uh, the company of Motion Pictures, I always forget the name for some reason, CMP, yeah. Uh, last, last time I got some DVDs from these, uh, this as well, this is just great, I mean I love these, these releases, uh, definitely kind of cheap ass releases. <laughs> I don't know, I really like that stuff. Um, these are always really cheap in the wild as well. I uh, kind of find a lot of time find uh, some of these movies. Um, but I don't know, they're just great. And again, just look at that cover. I love it. <laughs> and 315 as well. So yeah, really glad to find these two as well. Yeah, right here. Hitchcock, Sabotage, uh, I'm, I'm just a huge, huge Hitchcock fan, I know, it's just, I think he's like the, the best director ever, actually, um, all things that's been said about him, 
I think are true. I mean, this is, these movies are just so suspenseful. Uh, this one is actually another, an uh, older one, an old black and white uh, movie. I uh, actually haven't seen any of the really old stuff of him. But uh, I got some of them and I'm really looking forward to watch them actually. Uh, I love the old black and white movies as well. Um, yeah, and Hitchcock has yet to disappoint me. So I don't think he will. Uh, probably not all of his movies are enormously great. But um, from what I've seen, they're all just awesome. Uh, I don't know. Always, he always grabs me and just always so suspenseful and it's just great and that here a very obscure one a power slide I haven't heard of this I actually looked it up on IMDB and I saw this movie only at six ratings which is like really low <laughs> I've never seen that actually um, so yeah I'm surprised that it's even on a DVD because usually when it does have a DVD release more people would rate it um, like I said in a, another video, I don't care too much about rating, but I thought that was just kind of a fun fact. So yeah, it's a DVD by Emporium, uh, which is a Belgium company. Um, yeah, well, their DVDs, these are always also kind of cheap ass releases actually, uh, but always uh, very obscure films. Um, a lot of time more of the newer kind of films and really crappy ones if I might say so <laughs> um, but yeah they did some some good stuff as well uh, like Space Shift uh, which is actually Waxworld 2 uh, which is an awesome film but yeah I don't know I just like this cover and since the movie was so obscure I thought I give it a shot who knows yeah, I got these two actually uh, just right now before making this video. I uh, made a little visit to a local Goodwill store. Got this, Titanic, our old classic movie. Um, so not the Leonardo DiCaprio version this is. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a film um, from 1950s. You can see here Oscar winner from 1953 actually. Yeah, it's a real oldie. Um, yeah, I like these uh, these movies from the Studio Classics uh, releases actually. Uh, got a couple of more. Uh, don't find these as much in the wild either actually. Uh, they're also pretty collectible still. So yeah, it's good to find this one. I like these old uh, black and white movies like I said before. And this one seems kind of interesting. More interesting than the uh, 1996 version, I think it is, uh, with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Not my kind of thing. And that here is uh, Broken Flowers with Bill Murray. Yeah, from the Quality Film Collection. I uh, got quite a few of these. They are actually always uh, quality films. I mean, I don't, don't like all of them, of course, um, but. Usually when you get these, you know, there's these are always a certain type of movies, uh, more like uh, art house kind of films. Um, yeah, so Bill Murray, that's always good. So I don't know about this film. I just got it because it was cheap and um, we'll give it a go. So yeah, that's it for the DVDs I got. Um, but yeah, to my surprise, actually, I found two more VHS tapes this time, uh, which is really weird. Like I said in the previous video, uh, I don't find a lot of VHS and definitely never any good stuff. So to find this, these as well, um, so fast, actually, uh, after the last time, this is just <laughs> really, really great. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. I uh, got here is the Scorpion Woman, a uh, really um, obscure movie as well. Um, I couldn't find any info on it actually. Uh, the weird thing is if I look on IMDb or anything like that, I will always find something about the movie. Um, maybe it has a different title or something like that. But with this one, I just couldn't find it anywhere. So I looked actually for the actors as well and the director is here on the back and uh, named on the back as well but I can't find anything which is really weird so um, 
So yeah, if anybody knows anything about this, please let me know. I would be really interested. So, but yeah, just, I mean, this cover, I don't know, VHS is just, it's just special to me. I really, really love this. And uh, I've got another one. Yeah. <laughs> Frankenstein and the monster from hell. Yeah. Really love this. Uh, it's a Hammer movie with uh, Peter Cushing, of course. Couldn't be without Peter Cushing or Christopher Lee. <laughs> I mean, just love these. Um, big fan of the Hammer movies. I uh, got this one on DVD as well. But I don't know. Just this is this big beefy box. And I really love that. It's really old school. It's not in the best shape. But for the price, it was like 50 cents. I really couldn't pass on this. So, yeah, and the guy like kept telling me like, yeah, VHS, it will be something that will be coming back and it will be really big again. I was like, mm, yeah, dude, I don't think so. I mean, there's still a lot of people who collect VHS, but I don't think it will be coming back anytime soon. <laughs> but yeah. I just love collecting uh, some of this stuff and yeah to find this out in the wild i mean never ever do i see anything like that so this is just great really love this one i'm really glad to have it so, yeah i'm talking about this kind of stuff i got something very special i got this it's a laser disc of the visiting hours um yeah i mean just look at that cover i lo love that and uh, just because it's so big actually but uh, i don't know i don't know it's like uh laser discs uh, i got this actually at goodwill um yeah you don't find them in the wild uh, either actually just love that stuff um i mean you know it never was a big thing again i guess uh, the laser disc so it's kind of obscure a lot of people actually don't even know what it is i think so for those of you who don't know uh, these were actually just movies uh, i think it was between vhs and dvds somewhere that uh, this came out and with this kind of stuff here like a big cd yeah it's like the yeah the size of a, a record album like a 12 inch uh, vinyl record or something like that so that's really really awesome to get i'm really glad to find that one i don't have a laser disc player yet but maybe someday they're kind of expensive and talking about final records actually got a soundtrack of um, once upon a time in the west which is uh, in my opinion actually the best bronson movie and probably the best western movie i've seen so i really love this one i like the cover i think it kind of sucks that it has the dutch uh, um, the dutch title on it but uh, well whatever it was again really cheap so i love collecting soundtracks as well um if it's from a good movie and a good music of course uh, especially on vinyl i think that has something special for my um yeah, for my metal stuff and things I collect as well, I prefer the CDs, but for soundtracks, it just has something special on vinyl, I think. So, yeah. So that's it for the movie stuff I got. Uh, I got some great, great video games, so uh, I'll show you as well. I got some PS1 titles. A Street Racer, yeah, I just played a bit of this one. <laughs> this is a really fun game. Uh, more of like a Mario Kart uh, kind of clone, um, but yeah, it's got its own vibe and I really like it. You can actually uh, race as the Frankenstein monster, so that's I think that's great. <laughs> yeah, great title, I've been looking for this uh, quite a while. Now here is uh, Strike Force Hydra, which is uh, more of a old school shoot -em up kind of game, as you can see here in the pictures. Um, yeah, this is a, like a budget title, probably like I can see here on the number, uh, later release on PS1, 
Uh, they, they did a lot of uh, budget titles on the on the end of the PS1 era, and this was actually kind of great, really a great game. It's just a port of an old arcade game. Um, I mean, I think it's an arcade game. I don't know exactly. It could be from another system or something. But uh, yeah, really fun game actually. I uh, really suck at these shooters, <laughs> but I love uh, love those type of games. So really glad to find that one. And same bones for this. Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro to be exact, uh, yeah, I uh, played quite a bit of these games, uh, I know I played the first one actually on PS1, I'm not entirely sure if I did play this, play this one as well, but um, yeah, I loved the first Spider-Man game, it was really great, um, so yeah, I don't see this one uh, very often, so it was really great to find this as well. Yeah, and this is my uh, my trophy piece that I found, <laughs> so-called. Yeah, Vigilante Eight. That's it. Got a yeah Dutch release has this sticker on it. I uh, always uh, I think it's great if it has like the original stickers on it, even though this is uh, kind of ugly. But yeah, no, whatever. Yeah, man, Vigilante 8. This is a great game. Um, the prices are definitely going up for this game. Um, really sought after. It's just because this is just a great game, but it's um, not, not a lot of people seem to know it, about it, especially back in the day. So more and more collectors are finding finding out about it. Um, yeah, it's more like a game like uh, the Twisted Metal series for those who are familiar with it. Uh, shoot 'em up, um, well, racing and shooting kind of mixture of that. Um, yeah, vehicular combat as they call it as well. Um, so yeah, I played a ton of this uh, back when I was younger. Um, my brother uh, actually still had the game. We both collect PS1 games, so and. Um, yeah, some of the stuff we had from back in the day, I got some of the stuff from him and he kept the rest of it. Uh, we just, you know, divided it uh, because of what we bought when we were younger. So, and he still had this and I didn't, so, and he found this for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really, really thankful for that. Uh, this was like super cheap and uh, the guy who was selling it, he definitely had no clue, um, which is great for me. Yeah, just need to find the second one, Vigilante 8, the second offense. Maybe next time, who knows. Yeah, so that's it for the PS1 titles. I got some PS2 stuff as well. A really weird one here for you guys. It's Mario's Meltdown, which is more of a 3D platform kind of game. Uh, I played a bit of this. Um, it's really kind of a budget title, like a lot of the PS2 games. Uh, well, it has a lot of budget titles and just has a lot of titles actually on PS2. Uh, it was actually kind of fun. I uh, read um, some reviews on it and um, which were all really negative. Um, from what I played, I thought it was kind of okay. Uh, it had some annoying voices in it, <laughs> but uh, well, it's like kind of a kid's game. So what you do? You actually play as a smarty. Yeah, that's weird. Got here a Scarface, the world is yours. Yeah, just love the Scarface movie. Um, I always thought this game was kind of bad, but um, I read some more info on it lately and it seemed to be actually pretty good. Um, yeah, and I recently played the Godfather game, which I really liked. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick this one up uh, as well. It's like a really common game and I've seen it so many times on flea markets. But this time I couldn't pass on it anymore, so I got it finally in my collection. I'm uh, kind of looking forward to playing it actually. I got here this Rayman Raving Rabbits. So, yeah, uh, last one I needed for my PS2 Rayman collection. Um, it's kind of a different game than the other ones, uh, but yeah, just wanted to have it in my collection anyway. It, doesn't even seem to be a bad game or anything like that. So yeah, really good to find this one Last one for PS2. I got here is the Lego Racers 2. Yeah, I was fine by my brother I was uh, graciously to give it to me actually <laughs> Well, 
let me just say he didn't buy it he recently got a ps2 as well so he was snagging all the good games before me uh, a couple of them but that's okay that's what we what you get when you uh, collect with more people and it's not fun to go to a flea market alone that's kind of weird so yeah but anyway got here lego racers too I don't know, not not too big on racing games, but this seemed really fun. So yeah, I got some uh, 360 titles as well. Now here is Toy Story 3. Like I said earlier, I'm not the biggest fan of Disney. Not a fan at all. But yeah, these type of games, uh, 3D platformer, is just great. Unfortunately, this game is only playable in Dutch or French, German and Italian. So not in English, uh, which sucks for me. I, I mean, I prefer to play my games in the original language. So probably will buying a UK release or something of this uh, when I see it. But for now, I will keep it. I was really looking for this game for quite a while. So it was kind of disappointing that it's only playable in Dutch. Uh, even if I change my settings to US or UK with English la language, it still only plays in French. Well, what do you do? Now here is a laser shoot Larry. Laser suit Larry. Oh man, I always have problems to pronounce this title. Laser suit Larry. Box office bust. Yeah, got this for Corolla actually. She really loved uh, loves these games. I'm not gonna pronounce it again. Um, <laughs> I was really struggling with it the uh, last couple of days. Um, yeah. Corolla made fun of me, <laughs> which is okay. So yeah, I got this one. Uh, it seems like a fun game actually, but uh, I haven't played any of these. Uh, I got the other one on PS2. Um, yeah, Corolla, I really like this game, so I decided to buy it for her so we can play it together. Our 360 title here is Overlord. I don't know too much about this game, it was just cheap and since I am really I love collecting for 360 I decided to get it. Get it. Um, yeah, also of course complete like I said before. Uh, kind of cool that it came with a map as well. So always like that kind of stuff. Looks like a neat game, a bit more on the RPG side I think uh, from what I've seen. Uh, but yeah, looks good. And uh, for last, I got a couple of uh, original Xbox titles. I got an Xbox demo disc. Um, just got this as well at uh, um, Goodwill. That I just went to. Uh, thing that sucks about this is that the playable demos are only playable on PC, so you can't even play them on your Xbox. It's just kind of lame. It's more like a DVD actually, uh, it's just a lot of previews of the games and all that. Uh, I actually really like that stuff for some reason, it's just uh, more like uh, trailers of the of these games. I just like to know how they were presented and it's always a nice way to find out about some games. Um, yeah, like I said in my previous video as well, uh, not a lot of people seem to collect these uh, demos, so, but I do. If they're cheap, that's really nice. Actually, hadn't uh, haven't got any of these uh, from the uh, XBM. Um, so yeah, and this volume one, which is really nice to start the collection. <laughs> yeah, another great title, Fable. First Fable. I played this one, this one uh, also back in the day. Um, yeah, this, this is just an amazing game. It's just so much freedom for the time. Is this was just mind blowing. Uh, I haven't played on any of the sequels, unfortunately, but uh, I will probably someday. Uh, for some reason, I didn't have this in my collection. So yeah, now I do. Uh, same goes for this actually, Beyond Good and Evil. This is just an awesome game. Not much to say about it. You just need to have it in your collection when you're collecting for Xbox and PS2. I already have it in P on PS2 and I got the HD remake on 360 as well. But yeah. I got this one. Sudeki. Or something like that. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> yeah. 
for some reason I see this game a lot uh, as well, uh, always on piles, but I never buy it. I don't know why, uh, probably because it's not for a good price. So yeah, now I did find it for a good price and I decided to get it. it looks kind of fun. Um, so yeah, same for, goes for the last two actually, uh, Batman Vengeance as well. Just looked like a really fun game. I kind of love this cover, even though I'm not a big Batman Batman fan. Well, yeah, just looks awesome. And last title I got here is Vex. Yeah, with double X. Yep. So yeah, looks really nice. So that's it. This was another DVD update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, um, if you're interested I got a couple of more videos so check them out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah that's it for this time, um, see you next time, please like, subscribe and comment and uh, watch our uh, website for more stuff on movies and games, conventions and all that on convos.com. Thank you very much for watching.